Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to create this kind of, kind of like a brain looking pattern. So it's actually quite easy. Um, this is something that I learned by looking at videos, um, YouTube videos and Tagma for Houdini stuff. I tried to do it in Houdini, but Houdini license doesn't allow me to do to do it. So I'll, I'll go back to Blender and Spreadshop. I think Houdini side effects you have to, if you watch this video you have to fix your licensing system because it keeps annoying me it, it never really quite works I have to always email you anyway so back to Blender so we can try something like Icosphere or you can start with something like Sphere or anything basically anything that can be triangulated so I'm gonna show it to you if I use a viewer draw so we start with a maybe like a sphere. Sphere looks like this. If it's icosphere, so the secret is to use something like dual mesh, and dual mesh will give the pattern that we need. It's actually something like this. If to get something like this, you need a a triangle to start with. Icosphere is always triangle to start with, so we can always use dual mesh. With something like sphere, uh, you can't get that kind of pattern unless you maybe decimate it if you decimate uh, like if you merge by distance this guy will tend to become triangle then you can do like a do like a dual mesh or uh, sometimes sometimes you want to triangulate it because it's uh, sometimes it fails but uh, in this in this case it works so we can have like a high resolution sphere to start with and after merge by distance you want to triangulate the mesh so what i did was select selecting this one two three while holding shift and then tap v to connect them very quickly so let's save this as brain pattern so I'll from here if you want to create that line that's kind of kind of like a brain pattern the secret is to use KD3 closest path okay we can pipe in the vertices here and we can select the starting index and the maximum maximum distance here be careful with the number sometimes too big or too small it's gonna take a long time to calculate in this case, it's a. Uh, I think I can pick shorter length. So it's gonna pick a path that's shortest. Um, but if you have the right amount of maximum distance, eventually what's gonna happen is you you start you pick a with starting index, and then it's gonna try to find the closest path between the first and the the other points so if we bake this for example very quickly and if i smooth it subdivide it we have more or less like the brain pattern or oh, we have that kind of leftover time to time but if you convert if you f3 and convert this to curve and then use geometry and then extrude it and add a bit of depth you have this kind of brain pattern so this is using a curve and blender curve normally cannot close that uh, beginning and the ending so another way is to just simply do it inside square job if you like so um, you can use polyline so if you are using polyline viewer however you might get a surprise surprising result you don't have control over the edge right so in this case because we have vertices and edges so maybe it's cleaner if we are using bevel a curve um yeah i might i might be wrong this i, I might need to, to do like a sorting based on the edges however um skin modifier skin measure is actually 
I know this is going to work. So it's meshing the edge into this. Sometimes, however, this create a twisting. Um, so I'm sure we can use this bevel curve, but we need to do the sorting vector sorting by connection. This might actually work. So if we go back to polyline viewer, because we sorted we sorted the vector by connectivity, we have something that's kind of correct. Yep, so a lot of ways to mesh the vertices and points, but I think this is this is a good uh, example. One more thing I have to show you. So this is if we are using Polyline Viewer. So this is actually already kind of nice. This is a curve. This one is Skin Modifier. And there is another one where you have control for the bevel. Okay, bevel curve. This is a sorted vertices, and we just need to provide a circle or something for this result. Okay, mesh viewer. Boom. Okay, this is the result. Move it to the side. Um, however, oftentimes this actually we have kind of like a twisting. Depends on this algorithm because it's kind of tricky. The one that I know that will never twist is actually the curve. Curve is really special. Or polyline viewer is uh, in this case works really well to give you the perfect. Curve. However, like I said, this one will oftentimes uh, doesn't have beginning and end. I mean, with this guy, we can close, cap the start and cap the end, and we can smooth this, and we can control two or control three. Yeah, this one is not bad, despite of this twisting. So, like I said, this is like a brain, like a brain pattern or some people say it's like a intestines you can start not from sphere it you can start with anything you can start with a grid or maybe like suzanne also will work so suzanne polygon poly mm. I know this we need to be careful with the distance here but if you increase the distance or something or change the index you will occasionally get a, a pattern that will work there's Suzanne Play around with the index because you might find the one that works perfectly. So try Suzanne or or maybe try with something like Vector P build and use convex hull. It's like a Trial and error. Or maybe you can try cylinder. 
that I think I could hear is the one that will work for sure. There you go. The unusual brain pattern. I think this is courtesy of KD3 closest path. However, this one, okay. This will find the path of every, it will look at every point and will try to find the edge that made up the closest path based on all the based on all the vertices but imagine this i mean if you have a bunch of bunch of points right and you can do you can use these techniques and if you select a bunch of points and then you, you're gonna create you can create a, a very interesting pattern using this uh, algorithm actually so something to look forward to in the future i'll try something different but based on this idea of this brain pattern. Anyway, play around with this. See if you can make something that's more interesting. So brain path. So yeah, hopefully this is useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.